I'm posing as a psychic to demonstrate how easy it is for charlatans to sucker people using a technique they call cold reading. I want to say his name starts with a, 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 a B or a P. All I'm doing is manipulating the conversation so the customer gives me the answers I need. Did he like to boat? Not, not really. While I may be doing the talking, my subject's responses provide the meaning and context. Because it's not flat water, it's, it's in motion, it's manicured, like, like you would see on, 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 on a golf course, like oh, very no manicured. Man. He used to love golf. Of course, of course. Boom, transformed it into a hit. And he's dressed like in his Sunday best. He is, like he just got off the links. Uh, another miss. As I'm making statements, I'm looking for physical cues to see if I'm on the right track. Which, which is weird because he's not normally a formal person. He's, <laughs> he's rather casual, right? Yeah. I, feel, I feel like May or June was important. Uh, the, the, the summertime was, what, what, what happened during well, the summer? I usually, I usually visited him and my grandma, with my grandparents during the summertime. I picked summertime because it's usually a happy time for most people. And I'm betting on it as when he may have connected with his grandfather. That makes sense because he's smiling. And he wants you to know that those were some of the best days of his life. Finally, cold readers almost always end their readings with a stock statement designed to comfort and please. Thank you. Of course, at the end of the session, I let everyone know that I was demonstrating cold reading techniques. God, I feel like a <laughs> even acting this way. <laughs> Interestingly, this guy said he was skeptical, but that he wanted to believe. And that's the key to a fake psychic success. Whether you believe in psychics or not, at least now you won't be a sucker. <laughs>